the Cinema Solo here with another Reactions video. So this week I'm doing Arrow, Season 3, Episode 16, The Offering. There's so much to unpack, so let's get started. So first off, one of the first things we see when we come back from our break is that Thea and Talia resolve their issues. And Thea's like, please kill me. I killed Sarah. I deserve to die. And Talia's like, no you don't. It was all Malcolm. I don't care what you say. And refuses to believe her and walks away. And Thea gets away with it. And I mean, I don't blame Talia. She really, Thea didn't really have a big role in her death. It's just, you know, Thea just is glutton for punishment right now. So, now that we got that out of the way, we can go back to the other big cliffhanger that they left us with two weeks ago with Raish offering Oliver his job. Now, obviously, Oliver's like, no, I don't want to be the head of an elite assassin's league. And, but Race really kind of convinces him there and says the city's going to turn on you and you can make the league whatever you want. They don't have to kill. You just, they do what you want. And so he lets Oliver and Diggle and Malcolm all leave and go back to Starling City. Alright, so after, you know, Oliver gets back to Starling City, he kind of goes around. He drops off Malcolm at Thea's house. Thea's not really happy about it. But she sucks it up and deals with it anyway. Oliver goes um, uh, back to the. Oliver goes back to the Arrow Cave. You know, he's walking around, moping around, you know, and he's just like, we need to get a job done. We need to prove that the Arrow's still here. So they go out and they just pick some random job that's happening. You know, some guys are stealing diamonds, you know, with this throwaway villain of the week. Really throwaway villain of the week. And Arrow, they go and they fumble it up and they get it, and the bad guy gets away with the diamonds, you know, some crappy industrial diamonds. We don't know why. You know, Roy and, Roy and, uh, the canary knockoff here are just not cutting the mustard sometimes. And at the beginning of this episode, they weren't cutting the mustard. Anyway, so we move on from that, and we see Oliver kind of go see Felicity at work in, you know, what formerly was known as Queen Tower, but now it's Palmer Tech, you know. And she he finally realizes that, you know, Felicity and Ray are going out together now. So, bummer for him, you know. But Felicity does wind up helping him and telling him the name of the, this week's villain. Throw away, I don't even remember his name. So stupid. Oh, my mouth shut. Oh, man, so I can focus. Really? Anyway. Um, Oliver also deposits the guys off at the police station that he caught last night. And Detective Lance reveals that he found out that the Arrow has been lying to him the whole time. And dun-dun-dun, guess what? He's pissed, and he's not dealing with the Arrow anymore. And he's like, do not come back here. I'm not affiliated with you anymore, and I don't blame him. I'd be pissed too. He really, really fucked, and it's kind of shitty on you know Oliver's part because he couldn't really reveal this because uh, Laura wouldn't Laura wouldn't let him do it, and you know he's just really stuck in a hard place, you know, rocking a hard place there. Feel really bad for him. So now that Oliver's officially realized that Felicity's moved on and Captain Lance doesn't want anything to do with him, he's really doubting himself, he's really doubting the arrow, and whether or not they're doing anything over the last two years has really accomplished anything, and he's seriously thinking about taking the job with Faraish, and he tells Diggle about it, and Diggle gets, like, pissed, he's like, you can't do this, this is not what we signed up for, you're not that guy, you know, and they have an argument, and they split apart, and Oliver goes and talks to, you know, um, you know, he just goes around. He's really mopey this episode. I don't, I don't like that. This episode wasn't that great. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't the greatest episode, especially following last night's like, Flash. Flash was amazing last night, and it really kind of showed that this episode wasn't that great, especially coming off a of break. Um, so, you know, one thing leads to another, and then... We finally find out that the reason they stole these, you know, worthless diamonds was to make bullets to go kill the police officers at Detective Lance, or Captain, Captain Lance's station, because 
the leader was forced into a confession for something he didn't do. Okay, so now he's going to kill every police officer with diamond bullets. Whatever, it's Arrow. And they get these guns and they go to the police station. Felicity tries to warn Lance, but he's not picking up her phone calls anymore. So the guys bust in and kill a bunch of cops. You know, and then they throw down where, you know, Detective Lance is like, you know, tries to save Laurel and Laurel tries to be a hero. And for some reason, uh, you know, Talia shows up and just starts killing people out of nowhere. I don't know why she showed up at the police station, but whatever. She killed a few guys. And then Arrow finally showed up with Arsenal and they take down some guys. And Arrow saves Lance, you know, and then takes down the head guy and out in the alleyway. And Lance is like, what do you want to thank you? And Oliver's like, I don't do this for the thank you. You yeah, know, whatever. It's, you know, it's going to be a rough patch for a little while between their relationship, I feel like. And I feel like it's probably going to be a good thing because I feel like they were getting too chummy, you know. Like, you know, the police force was getting this close. To like give an arrow a badge, you know, and that's not what this show's about. Okay, he's a vigilante, you know, he does the right thing, but it's not always, you know, seen as the right thing. Anyway, and then, and so wrapping it up, that was this week's, you know, villain of the week wrap up. It was really, really weak villain. I didn't like this week's villain at all. Um, and then, you know, Oliver comes to a realization that. You know, he started this for a reason, he still has that reason, and he keeps wanting to be the era, and he goes and talks to his friend, and tells him I'm not going to be the new race, and his friend's like, well, it really wasn't an offer, you are the new race now, and we're coming for you, and whatever that means. So they separate ways, and then you see the cliffhanger at the end of this episode is some of the gang that got away with the guy with diamond bullets just gets murdered by a guy in a green hood who turns out to be Raish, who tells the one survivor to tell everybody what he did in the name of a green arrow. So that's going to be dynamite blowing up next week. You know, he's really going to try to, Raish is really going to try to force Oliver's hand to become the new leader. He's really, like, just like, like, just like he was trying to do with Batman. It's so crazy. Well, I mean, they really merged green arrow and Batman for this show, which is a good thing, because I don't think Green Arrow would have made it if they hadn't. Um, you know, some other tidbits of the show was Roy and Felicity kissing again. You know, the relationship, take it or leave it. I kind of like Roy not being in that relationship. I really like her not being in that relationship. But, you know, things happen. It's CW. They have to have relationship drama. Same thing with the Oliver Felicity Palmer thing. You know, that's just love triangle looking to boil over. Uh, especially in the next week's episode where it looks like Ray figures out what Oliver is and he's fully suited up and he's going into battle. So I can't wait to see what next week's going to happen. I think next week the shoe is about to drop next week. You know, something big is going to go down and I can't wait to see it. Um... And so that's what I all got for this week's episode of The Arrow, The Offering. Uh, my name is Cinema Solo. You can follow me on Twitter at The Cinema Solo. You can hit me up on Facebook and Google Plus at Cinema Solo. Uh, if you can, please like the video and subscribe for more reaction videos. Uh, I have coming out every week. And I also do weekly movie reviews. So hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much.